Ah. What, what timing was that, huh? Jesus. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, 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 I'll hit start. All good. No one's here, but it's fine. Then, ding. Ding. Follow the ping. So, thanks today for that. <laughs> Obviously. I, I, that makes me sound ungrateful. I'm not. I was just confused. <laughs> I'm like three minutes late, so I was like, I wonder if people will show up, and then, eh. <laughs> nice. Because you were on the diff you were on the other account last time. Last time that you came in last week on Monday, so I was briefly confused. <laughs> oh no, there's all like, what's going on? People are here, yay! Which means we get to do the world of building. That means I get to absolutely just destroy the names of my own places in this world that I cannot pronounce. It's going to be great. I'm going to have a great time. My mouth is not going to be impressed by any of what <laughs> is said tonight. <laughs> oh boy. It's terrified in advance. Already terrified. I don't like this song. One second. There we go. Something slightly more. Okay, I prefer that. Anyway, woo! It's the third homework thing. <laughs> yeah, woo! Uh, it's the third week of June, apparently. Wow, how time goes. And we have a third little homework challenge. So first week was meta. Second week was the inspiration board. So that was last Monday, was what I did then. And this week... It's all about location. We get to talk about like where we're gonna be riding for uh, for this for, for July, really. Because one of the important things is you don't want to have you don't want to cast too broad a net because then you just like a prompt will pop up and you'll be like, well I could go here, 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 and you have just too many choices and you just kind of you get lost. You never even end up actually writing the prompt. You get lost a little bit. Now I, I'm gonna have, I had to prepare a lot more for this stream than for last time because uh, my setting is big uh, by accident. I've accidentally made it uh, kind of kind of huge. Like there's a lot, there's a lot going on because it's what well, two continents, both roughly the size of Australia and and they're completely separate except for like two times that people went to one and then like a thousand years later went back the other way but you know there's two continents big boys and one of them is packed with shit like the first one there's like four countries ish and then you know the one that we're going to be working on has like 20? There's a lot of them. So I need to try and narrow down within the second one. Because I want to focus on the uh, the second one that I us in for summer camp. Because it's the, le the less fleshed out one. Because I've only had it in the setting for a year. Less than a year. Some of that. So I wanted to pick a specific spot within it that would have still a lot of variety so I wouldn't get bored out of my mind because you don't want to you don't want to narrow too far I feel like you don't want to be just like I'm only going to write this specific street in this specific town it's like well what if the prompts don't work for that then you have to go out and then you know things can get complicated so it's nice to have a decently flexible sort of scope of an area to work with I reckon so it needs to have some you know some give so, uh, to take part in this specific homework prep, uh, we're being encouraged to limit the scale of our world building, which I could have heard, I could have used that advice uh, last August. <laughs> oh boy, um, too late for that now. But you know, the, the important thing is they don't want you to not write 
anything outside that area. They, they, they want you to try and focus, but obviously not all prompts will fit for a given area. Like if you pick a very cold area and then there's a prompt about like temperate holiday destinations, you're like, well, shit, <laughs> what do I do now? And the answer is you just, you, you, you can leave. It's totally cool. So considered my world setting and then we got a geography template and then we need to add in some details. Yay! And that's what we'll be doing. So I'll show y'all what I currently have because I have prepped a little. It doesn't look like a lot. I, I downloaded a nice picture of a lake to use as a header because I like doing that. Did I put the... Yeah, I did quote it. Good. I put the attribution. Got it. Got Always credit your artists. Uh, and then I have the extremely rough like it's a big lake there are six countries there's a dragon in it that's the core information and then what i spent most of the afternoon doing uh well actually honestly most of this evening so it lasts like i don't know two hours uh was making the map for it which this is technically like 200 percent zoomed in because it's just, it's just really small it was a really small map. I, I might need to go back and make the the bigger version because I do have a bigger source file, but I uh, complicated. I have like six versions of the same map. There's a dragon in it. There, there's a dragon in it. Loki, just throw that out there. It's not important. There's a dragon in it. A big lake, you know, dragon in it. So you know, approach with no approach with follow up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they know. They know full well the dragon's in that lake. <laughs> they are more than aware that the dragon's there. But, you know, so there's funky looking lake. Big, big, chunky boy. It looks a little bit like a fucked up horse over here. I feel, I feel like this bit's like the leg. It's a fucked up horse. And then it has a country border version because I needed to make it clear. Like, the, pretty much the only reason I had to color code it is because there's this one motherfucker over here that's part of this motherfucker. <laughs> this, this big boy. And then it has this little exclave over here, and I'm like, well, shit, if I don't color code that, you're never gonna know. So I had to... That was an ordeal. <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure this map is not colorblind friendly, but that's... That's a later thing to try and deal with later. I tried. It... There's six countries. It's really difficult to color code it in a way that it all like works for that. So I've got the color coded map, and you can see all the other countries all around, including this shenanigan over here. But that's not part of the area. That's not important. We don't care about those exclaves. We only care about this specific exclave <laughs> and then everything else. Um, and then I also put in I put in the country uh, name labels. One second. Eh. I put in country name labels because otherwise I would forget what they were called because I named like three of them tonight so th these three names might change and I'm not I'm not gonna try to say any of them because it's not going to go well uh, so I'm gonna just leave those leave those there and then I've also got some points of interest uh, mostly I've just put in like the capital cities and then like one non-capital city that was important to mention and like only a couple of them have names like i knew this one was called sahayoth and uh this one was called skrezosh because i named it in december i named i think i named those two cities in december for world ember then there's just exclave exclave uh p for Fortin, uh I actually did name this one. I can't remember why I only specifically named this capital as opposed to these ones, which are just, you know, mm. capital of Mao Chi Heath. <laughs> That's, you know, later. But, you know, so I've got those. Then there's two capitals here because I thought that'd be cute. So, you know, and then the dragon be living in the lake. She's cool. She's a cool dragon. I need to. I hope I get to write about her for summer camp. That would be fun. Cause I haven't. 
<laughs> I've basically only written like, she's the patron of the lake, comes up once a decade. That's it. That's all, that's all she's got written. And it's been that way for a while. I don't remember when I wrote the Dragon article. I'm assuming it was December as well. I wrote a lot in December and I don't remember any of it. So yeah, that's the sort of stuff that I've spent the last couple of hours setting up so that I have a sort of base to work from, to write about, which is great. Yay! So now it's about actually writing the rest of the article so that it's actually like useful and fits with the rest of my world. Because most of my world is not weird dot points and misformatted umlauts because I, I didn't want to turn my German keyboard on. I'm gonna have to do that a lot. I hate turning on the German keyboard, but we have no choice. I made this mistake and now I have to deal with the consequences of my choices. So, what I like to do for most articles that I write is start them with a quote. I didn't do this for the um, inspiration article because that's kind of, you know, didn't need one. But like here I've got a quote from some somebody. Who, who even knows, right? Sometimes I don't. I might need to edit some of those to actually... These are bad examples of quotes. Why are these the worst examples of the quotes? Ugh. God. There we go. So you're like an actual quote from an individual that relates to the thing in question. That's the... That's something else. That's, that's the other consonant. Fun stuff. God, I have to fix so many articles. Ugh. But yeah, so I like to start with a little bit of a quote. Usually, like, it's only like 50 words or so of a quote. Just sort of describe the thing in universe in some way. And you can pick, like any perspective that you want because you know there'd be like the upper classes the lower classes specific professions like i think i would say for an article about a lake that's going to be like the focal point of summer camp or well my summer camp writing specifically uh, a fisherman does make sense <laughs> as they said fisherman hold up wait wait a second there's a dragon in the lake <laughs> wait <laughs> <laughs> Though, of course, they do know about that, but a fisherman would probably be a good um, individual to quote about lakes. No, this is a very important lake, so honestly, anyone could be quoted for it. But let, let's let's stick with the fisherman for now. So I'm just gonna... We won't specify what country that fisherman is from, because that is a whole other thing that I don't want to have to deal with. Considering that I only know what three of those countries are about, and then these three, I, I don't even know what... The, I don't know what they're doing. They're people who exist. Oh god, writing's hard. <laughs> 15 minutes in, I haven't written anything. Okay, um... I guess the most important thing... The lake... Yeah... Hmm... Writing is hard. Hmm. Oh god, I need the <laughs> UK keyboard. I have to have three different keyboards to type anything. Well, arguably I don't. I could just use the UK keyboard and the German keyboard, but... The UK keyboard formats things weird, so I don't use that all the time. I use that when I have to, which is ideally very, very rarely. <laughs> Love you, UK, but what is, what is up with your keyboard? I don't like it. Like, like seven becomes... There's something, something was messy about it. I remember. But I might have already switched. Who knows? Oh, that was... Yeah. So whatever. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. God, writing's hard. <laughs> I'm just gonna repeat the entire time. Writing is hard. 
And this may never happen again. <laughs> Writing's hard. I don't like to write under stress. But that's the entirety of summer camp is writing under stress. So, you know, kind of just test run for all those summer camp streams I'm planning to do for some reason. Oh god. Ah, it's all central for arson. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. That, that whole module that you're working on that you need the writing is hard, yeah. <laughs> it, it's so easy to just like splurt out like, oh yeah, this is what it is. But then you actually want to go back and write it in a way that's like written. Like, you know, I could just summarize uh, Lake Strelish as the big lake, but no, 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 no. You have to actually write that. And it's like, oh God, no. Quotes are hard. I don't write people. I write Wikipedia style. I don't know how to write people. People are complicated and I don't get them. So that's going to be its whole thing. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, I can just, like, chat about it, and I can explain all the things that make Strelish important, like the fact that it feeds a river, that feeds everything else, and it's got, like, it, it's center of the thing, and blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> having to write that and having, like, it's not a conversation, it's just, this is it. Read this. If you have any questions, don't. Well, it's like, I can't, I don't like to commit to that. So that's always complicated a little bit. Hmm. God. Hmm. Do fish? Sure. <laughs> if you have any questions, no, don't. Don't have any questions. Bad. Stop. <laughs> Stop asking me questions. I've explained everything. There is nothing else. <laughs> I remember it was like, oh god, for one of the World Ember articles I wrote uh, about a country. No, just mind my own business like I usually do. And then some dude that I don't know, and I don't think I've ever spoken to at any other occasion, comments below it like, yeah, but what do they eat? And I'm like, I don't care. Go away. Don't ask me these questions. I don't care what they eat. Stop it. This is clearly not the focus of the article. Go away. Shit. Oof. Away you go. We're not dealing with this. So that... <laughs> don't ask questions. Like, obviously, ask questions. But, like, if I didn't talk about it, it's probably... It might be deliberate, you know? Off you. No. <laughs> no questions. <laughs> She probably would put that. If it weren't for me. Yes, yes. When the dragon comes up, people see it. People know. It is a it is not a small dragon. Like the since there's no sense of scale to this map, it's not totally clear. This is a big dragon. <laughs> like, the dragon is probably, like, like, like I think, uh, where did I put it? The dot's there. This is, like, where its cave is here. It is basically the size of that, which, oh, scale, scale's hard. I would say at least the size of a city. It, yeah. It, people would see it, though. Like, it is... And it's their, like, patron dragon. Like, the people around the lake worship this thing. Because it, it, well, she made the lake. Because that's what the dragons did, is they, like, formed the world. This dragon, like, made this lake. And so, you know, she is very highly revered. And if she comes up, everyone is going to know. Because at least one person will see it. And they will tell everyone they see. And it will just spread. So if she pops up, people know. People will notice. Um, ooh. Mm. Probably a little bit. Probably a little bit. 
mostly at the very least like a brief, very brief tsunami. Well, not tsunami, it's not that large. Because she probably doesn't like, she probably doesn't like jump, like, like with speed, leave the lake. She might sort of like slowly come, more like a Loch Ness kind of thing. Sort of slowly come up like, hey, how are y'all doing? Where's the food? Everyone sends out their ship, she goes back down. So there would be like these, some, some big waves at the moment she comes out and at the moment she goes back down. But for the most part, she's, they're not moving with any great speed. It's more of a, oh yeah, dragons need oxygen to live. I should come to the surface. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> back down we go. <laughs> like, I, I definitely didn't, have not planned in any like big, like, every decade. It just fucking floods. <laughs> it's not that drastic. Because, like, the whole dragon isn't coming up, but it is still a big dragon. If that makes sense. If it's not clear, I haven't thought through anything of this. <laughs> she's been in that lake since the, the like the start of the setting, and I don't know anything about her. So she's... that's... over there somewhere. I mean... I mean, it's not like the head's the size of a city, is the thing. Like, if it's basically only, like, the head coming above water. I don't know. I did try to place her sort of centrally so that, like, the assumption is that if she's coming up from around here, it would sort of dissipate out. I don't know. I don't know how physics works, is the thing. <laughs> I don't get it. I failed physics. <laughs> so none of it makes any sense to me. So I'm just like, I don't know, head pop up, head go down. Chill. And I'm like, sure. Yeah, exactly. Fluid dynamics are nuts. That's why we focus on Minecraft fluid dynamics here when nothing happens. That's the only physics I understand is Minecraft water physics. Most of the time. So I'll just focus on that. Uh, move me. Oh, God. Yeah, drug. This is not easy. This is just very low cash. I don't know shit. <laughs> I don't know. Like, if, if this was more. I don't want to say more thought out, because I have thought through some things, but, like, if it was more like. If, like, the core of the setting had been there's a dragon in this lake, and it was, like, interrogating the consequences of that then there probably would be that big like every decade it just floods element to it but because this isn't actually a central part of the setting like it is important for this particular area and everything it's not but it's not like what the setting was built on so i just haven't it just isn't it wasn't important to have to consider it i guess i'm just making excuses <laughs> i'm trying to procrastinate oh god Quotes are hard. I don't know. Dragons are weird. Ma magic. When in doubt, dragon have magic. Dragon not flood the people who give it money. Give it food. Like, sh like the, the people feed this dragon because it's like divine. It's like, dragon pops up, everyone sends out some offerings to the lake, she takes them down, goes down. If she floods it, that's like catastrophically every decade, then it's like, wow. <laughs> Why would we keep giving you food if you keep destroying our homes every every decade? We don't like that. Yeah? Yeah? That that could yeah, like a flood plainy area. Hold on. Points of interest. I can always move these as well, so that's good. Um hmm. I don't know if there's actually a spot that functions as a flood plain. Cause I think I'd have to fuck with like over here. But like mm, I guess sort of like this sort of spot could probably... I don't know. I have no idea. Like, it definitely makes sense. I have no idea. I'm not sure I actually want to attempt to f reckon with the consequences. Because, again, physics? Difficult. It does make sense, though, that, like, the water, like, fertilized soil. Because that was sort of the idea with the big, the big river that comes off it, is that it's kind of like a Nile. So it... Mm. Yeah. 
I feel like most of the waters end up going down the river rather than necessarily flooding the lake, maybe, is how that works. Since the river is supposed to be kind of Nile-esque. Like, yeah, flooding once a decade isn't, isn't quite a Nile. It's not, it's not quite the same thing, but that, that feels like it tracks. Uh, yeah. I don't know, physics. Physics is difficult, I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. This is not exactly rigorously scientific world building. <laughs> Magic is involved, she can do what she wants. So, who knows, right? When in doubt, that's the cop-out answer. Is magic's involved that makes this either less bad or more good. So maybe she, like, specifically can, like, like she comes up, waves happen, and then she can make them spread out in a way that they're not as drastic. So no, she's like a higher tide than usual, rather than the entire city's underwater now. Which would be the main issue for, like, here. Like, Skrezo should be screwed. Just because it's the closest big city. If, it, if she was flooding it big, we'd be screwed. <laughs> uh, ooh. Mm. I mean... <sighs> Make an explanation that she's made of water or made part of water. I mean, she... Mm. Uh, I, do... I don't think that fits with how I've described dragons up to this point. Because they have definitely been in it. Because there is an equivalent example, like equivalent to her coming out of the out of the lake. Um, the equivalent of that is that there was a dragon that was under a mountain that then blew up the mountain by coming out of it. Explodes like big, big everything broke the shit. Yeah, the yellow one on the right. It could be on the floodplain. So that maybe that is like the flooded side. That that it probably is all just like they probably build on stilts. Everything around this lake is built on stilts. These mo these people down here, they're fine. They don't have to give a shit. Neither- well, that one kind of does. But, like, these people are like, yes, yeah, stilts is cool. Stilts are good. Yeah. Yeah. I got definitely my hands, and I- I'll definitely- I need to write that down. The, <laughs> the, <laughs> Eh, like, side on stilts. Pop that in. Because that- that's definitely- I hadn't- necessarily thought of that. So yeah, that can be the very easy way. It's just like, yeah, the water comes up higher when she pops up, but everyone's on stilts, so it's mostly okay. And it's like, okay, cool. Neat. No problem with that. That basically explains it. Yeah. Well, hmm. I think the thing is that it, I feel like it probably end up being the reverse, because I'm not sure if it's necessarily obvious. Uh, this bit, this bit in orange and such, that's a mountain range. So I feel like it might, it would, it should probably end up being the reverse. That like the, that the, that the west coast, so like the orange and the red, the green, the purple, is what ends up flooding a bit more. Just needs to be careful to not, they, they, they might have to build a lot of walls around like here to make sure they don't accidentally flood the entirety of this area over here. Because <laughs> like if they don't block off this bit, they're gonna accidentally f ruin the entirety of like the central. Cause like how that how does that country work? Like they're gonna just mess up this entire area if they if they mess up that. Higher stakes if you do it that way. <laughs> You're gonna just like be careful. Please don't drop the elevation. We don't need that. Not that it's high. Like there's probably some dips where it stops, but like they gotta they gotta be careful with that. There you go. Stilts. Stilts are good. This course still isn't written. Ooh. Writing is hard. Maybe I should have I should have prepared even more and basically written the entire article in advance. Uh. Yeah. Uh yes. They they do. Wait, wave slow down quickly on land, but move far in water. I'm pretty sure they do, because that's like the idea of like, on the smaller scale, like ripples, like putting a pebble in a in a pond, it just like whoosh. But it, but again, patron of the lake, magic, 
she can probably lessen her impact if she needs to. Though there is built into the setting, like this part of the setting already, uh, a period in which the lake flooded. Just real bad. This is an established part of the world, is that the lake did flood really, really bad at one point. So she might have fucked up. <laughs> and then it had a drought for a while, because she might have fucked up even harder. So she um, has not done well, <laughs> necessarily, but she, she tries to moderate it out as much as she can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if it's happening regularly, the environment will have adapted, so it's mostly fine. <laughs> it's mostly cool, except when she makes a horrific mistake. But that's only happened maybe twice, in conjunction with other factors, like environment things that I don't understand. It's all complicated. Change keyboards. Ugh. That'll do it. Fuck it. That's a quote that functions. Ooh. Mmm. Another quote. Where is that going? I could bring the like. Ah! Like, that definitely makes sense. I'm not sure if they would think of it that way, is the thing. Because, like, she's the patron of the lake, but she is not the lake. And the lake itself isn't alive in that way. Like, she's the thing in the lake doing the thing. I don't know. I don't. I don't feel like they would describe it as like the lake breathing, because they know the dragons in there doing it. So it's not like I don't know. I like it's definitely cool. I don't think they would describe it in that way. I'm not sure. I honestly don't know. I I, I don't. I'm gonna stare at that quote now. I was like, ah, shit. <laughs> it's having to come up with a reasoning for why it doesn't make sense. I'm like, I don't know. It's just the vibe. I don't think it vibes. I don't think. No, I am mulling it. I am mulling it. <laughs> I am. I am dwelling upon it, going, hmm. Does that make sense? And I feel like my gut reaction was no, so I feel like the ultimate answer is not quite. Not for all of them. Some of them might, but I don't feel like that would, like, it would be a smaller group. So, like, the broader lakeside community would just be like, yeah. It's not breathing. The lake isn't breathing. <laughs> the lake is not itself an organism. It's the organisms in the lake. They would, they would make that distinction, I think between the lake being alive and the things in the lake being alive. Maybe. Things are hard. I don't know, maybe we'll just leave leave the quote for now. Because if I keep dwelling on the quote, literally nothing is going to get done. If I do that. And now I'm sitting here like, I don't remember if I've ever written a geography article. <laughs> I don't write geography articles, so now I need to go check my geographic articles going, when have I written things? Um, oh god, that's old. Oh, well, that's an old article. Oof. Oh, hi, another leg. Get in there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I knew what lake I was getting into when I picked that. I'm like, oh yeah. It's been a while, hasn't it? God, I need to edit so many articles to fix them up and make them not... Uh. I mean, that one's probably fine, but I was like, ah, yes, it is about 50% a history of the location, which I don't think is what I'm supposed to be doing for this challenge. It's more about, um, you know, the actual geography, <laughs> which is why it's a geographic article, because I'm supposed to be writing about the geography of the setting. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, like... 
I think it was just a regular lake. I think it was designed on a crater lake, but we're just gonna pretend it's not. Cause that makes my life easier if I just pretend it's a normal lake. Ah, uh, ooh. Okay. See, like, obviously, I don't, I, I rarely actually use these other boxes that exist underneath. I usually write everything in here, because then I can format it exactly how I want to. But the boxes are here for a reason. And that reason is to help me think about things. So, geography, history, tour, tourism, flora, fauna, natural resources. Okay, okay. Yay. Oh yeah, actually no. What we start with, actually. We start with the, almost like the Wikipedia excerpt. <laughs> where we explain that Lake Strelish is a big ol' lake. <laughs> no, it's good. In the center of ah. wrong keyboard. That's my problem. Is that the UK keyboard? You hit Shift two, and it comes up with quote marks for some reason. It's nuts. I don't get it. I don't know why they swapped that. It drives me nuts, and I can't even be bothered to learn the alt codes. So I keep forgetting to learn that. Well, just like the continent. Um, and I guess we just chuck the dragon bit in here. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> you, ha you actually have a, a UK laptop? Not like a... Oh, yeah, for oh, right, because you're in Spain, of course. How does that go for you? Having a UK laptop when you've been raised on a uh, US keyboard, essentially. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I imagine it's like in a box under a bed. That's how that's how it usually goes. That's where most of my laptops are. And I mean, and when you say cheap, you mean like ah oh, no, couple hundred. As opposed to like seven hundred, you know, like two hundred dollars. <laughs> the equivalent of buying a phone that can only like talk and text. It can't like play games or do anything else. It's a flip. It's the flip phone of laptops. Hey, oh shit! I've forgotten the dragon typologies. Uh, dragons, please. What type of dragon was she? I have this written down. She is a major. She's a major dragon. Okay. Yeah. That that, that makes sense. A four hundred dollar laptop is not going to uh, endure particularly well, <laughs> as, as laptops go. Like I buy the I buy mine usually for like a thousand bucks, and they last me like four years, and even then. Yeah. <laughs> it's like. Are you sure you don't want to buy this expensive thing? No, sir. I am positive that I want to buy the cheapest thing you have. Okay, there you go. Fool. Like, no, no, no. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. I knew what I was getting into. I am no, we are, you are no fool. You knew what you were getting. Trash. Hey. A dragon. Dragon. Link dragon. Link dragon. There we go. They changed the editor and it... The blue bothers me. I'm gonna have to edit the blue at some point. It's gonna, it's gonna annoy me that it's that blue. Oh. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. It struggled with Diablo 2? Oof. That's rough. I'm pretty sure even my shittier ones can probably run Diablo 2. Is the thing. So that that's rough. That is rough stuff. That's like my first laptop sort of thing. Uh, what was she credited with? I have this written down. Okay, sure. 
I wish I would stop doing this, but this computer is bigger and I'm sat further away. So I keep going like, oh, it's far away. I have to squint and look at it and pretend like I can read. I don't even need glasses. I just can't read. Um, uh, where shipped? The lakeside. Boom. We have an intro and a shitty quote. I'll fix the quote later. It doesn't need to be long how I format it. I usually do like a really short bit and then uh, go from there. Because then we start putting in headers. So since the main thing is the actual geographic part of it, normally I would open with history, but I feel like I probably should. <laughs> just, just for once. And also because I, I, I don't, I don't know. I know a lot about this area. I don't know enough. I don't want to have to think about it. Especially because a large, like one chunk, like 40 a chunk of it, like, there was a war and a lot of things happened. I'm not going to dwell on it. And it's like, no, no, no at all. Huge, huge changes to the joke. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> it's in an article I haven't written yet. It's fine. That's a fun war that happened. Uh, geography, history, tourism. Fauna. Natural resources. Hmm. One of my thing is that I don't know how to describe a lake in any other way than it's a lake. Like, it's a lake. You know? <laughs> That's always the thing. Like, what is it? A lake. Tell me about the lake. It's big. Big lake. It's like. Continue, and it's like, um... Big lake center of continent, it's like, continue. <laughs> it just continues, and I'm like, I don't know anything else, it's just a big lake. Um... I don't, I, you don't want to overload with links, so... <laughs> it's like, yeah, just grabbing words for links. <laughs> Let me open that. Oh god, ow. My eyes. Oh god. White page is disgusting. I mean, yeah. Absolutely. Placid subterranean. Wow. Those are words that exist. Wow. Oh, yeah, I guess freshwater is probably an important thing to specify, even though I feel like it's kind of obvious. Probably sh should, should just be extremely clear. Big fresh water lake. Big ol' big ol' fresh water. God damn. Thermally active. Wow. Many things. Okay. Let's go for oop. Big ol' header. Geo Geography. I can't type. My gloves are getting in the way. Okay, so it's thrillish. Well thrillish. Is I don't want to word these the same way. You don't want to start everything with Lake Strelish, Lake Strelish, Lake Strelish, like... Words? Oh god. God, my headphones suck. This bluffs. <laughs> I have it on two volume and somehow it's still too loud. Even though the music is not loud on your end, I'm about 80% sure. But I'm like, wow. It's on 2% and it's still loud. <laughs> these things are just explosive. Um, anyway. Geography. Uh, fresh water lake is geography, huh? Geography. See, I knew this one was going to be a difficult homework to do, even bef even without the scope part, because I'm like, ah, yes, geography. A thing I can definitely describe. It's a weird looking like. I don't know why it looks like that. Aside from the fact that I was just like. 
just jittering around like, yep, jittery line makes thing natural. It's fine. I do like the paper texture I put on it. That was cool. It does have that lying around. Um, then it's fed by two of these motherfuckers. It's got a river and it feeds into a little lake and then it goes there and there's a little lake and then there's just a big old river. Which apparently gets big. That might, that might, that might have been bad, bad drawer. It probably shouldn't get bigger. It's fine. I like the lake shape too. It's just a little weird looking. It's a little funky. <laughs> and it, it looks like some, it looks, oh, you know what it looks like to me a little bit? Um, Skrelp, the like sea kelp dragon Pokemon. A little bit. It looks like kelp. A little bit. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. It just looks funky. But it works, you know? The kanji board is probably don't make that much sense, but honestly, it's fine. I, I can I can explain them after the fact. I I know mostly what I was thinking of when I did them. M mostly. Even if that was just... I think this looks cool. It makes complete sense. It's perfect reasoning. Bulletproof. Ironclad logic. So it's a... Large freshwater lake is um uh, at the foothills, sort of. Well, I guess it's in a valley. Uh, I didn't even end up naming them mountain ridges. I, <laughs> names. I don't want to have to name anything, so I'm not naming anything. I did not name the mountain ranges. I'm about 80% sure I have not named those. I can check, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and I'm going to check, but I'm pretty sure that is not names. Mm, no. Yeah, that's not a named thing. That's fine. That's fine. That's something else for my list to figure out what they're called. Like, names are hard. That's why I don't say them out loud, because then I'll suffer immensely. <laughs> Is it sort of at the foot? Um, sure. It is definitely a valley, though, because of how that sort of lays out, so it's a valley. It's fine. Of the tall eastern mountains. Oh god. This is a fun preview for when summer camp actually starts and I have no idea what to do. Uh... Except when summer camp starts, I'll actually be writing the history part, which is 90% of all my articles. Just, here's what's happened in this location. What does it look like? I don't know. I don't know what it looks like. It looks like a thing. It looks like a physical place in the world that exists. Goddamn. Eh. Eh. Um... Oh, at the foot of the tall eastern mountains. Um, is up of floodplains. Which much of the lakeside is made up of floodplains. Uh, oh, hey, Undo! Hello! Welcome to sh struggling to write under pressure about geography, which is what I'm doing at the moment. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's what that's what this stream is struggling to write under pressure about geography a thing i am not confident about even when i'm not in depression <laughs> uh, last my legs hit some valley at the foot of the early spans um, i guess eh. much of the legs are made up of floodplains Yeah, struggling to write is my life too. We can, we all struggle to write together. <laughs> Everyone's like, we're gonna, we're gonna write this club, and we're all gonna sit here, and we're gonna, you know, chat through methods. And it's like, well, actually, we're just sitting here going, I wish I, I could write all the time. And it's like, yeah, me too. And then we just sit here. <laughs> it's an hour of just. I hope something comes out of it at the end. I don't know. Words will happen eventually. I can probably. Um. Floodplains, which um, then oh god, I didn't prepare for floodplains, so I have no idea how to describe floodplains. But wait, floodplains. Maybe this has adjectives for floodplains. <laughs> it does. Oh god, the screen is so bright. We did grassy, large, grassy, low, flat, swampy, fertile. Oh yeah, fertile. Fertile's the word I want. Yeah. Made up of. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. So that was linked earlier in in the chat. But I'll just pop that in again. So that that's you know. A fun little oops, pages, pages, pages. Um, little site to use. Be like, I need words for describing this thing. Here you go. Here's a bunch of words for describing this thing. Thank you. Good old floodplains. Upon uh, which there's a space in the word upon which. Upon uh, which. For most of their food. Is. Well the eastern. Eastern shores. I'll specify eastern banks. Not shores. Banks. Because shore is more ocean. Bank is lake. <laughs> Maybe. I feel like that's a distinction that's made, but I've never checked. Arr. Flatter? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, God. you can do that? Yeah. Yeah, that is a distinction. Yeah, I, I didn't think. I was pretty sure that bank and shore was a distinction, but I keep using the word shore anyway, so I'm like, no. I know there's a distinction, so I'm going to uphold it, and I'm going to use the correct word for this location. It is a bank of a lake. Wait. No, it's river bank. It's not a lake bank. It's a lake shore, isn't it? Oh, shit. <laughs> bank versus shore. Uh, a bank is more common between the two. So... Please explain. Oh no. Okay. Okay. So it's the shore of the lake. Ah. Uh, okay. So bodies of water have shores, but rivers have banks. Okay. Good. It's the eastern shores. Well, the eastern shores. Oh. Oh god are rocky and hilly the western shores actually well the north and the, the south and western as opposed to the mid uh, uh flatter flatter and opposite of rocky <laughs> 
more grassy. Oh, I guess it's grassier. Oh, yeah. River that between them. I would say a river has a shore, but I could see lake bank and lake shore. I think it, it might depend on like the, the the exact like what it would look like. If it's like a sandy shore, it's always pretty much sandy, or even like a gravelly shore. But if it's like more cliff esque, then it would probably be just like yeah, it's the bank of the lake. As soon as I said lake bank out loud, it sounded weird though, so I feel like it's usually a uh, lake shore. So I'm like, eh, there we are, muddy bank. A bank is richer though. <laughs> exactly. So maybe it's just a bank because it's a wealthy location. The lake of the bank. <laughs> oh, these ninjas are rocky and flatty. What? <laughs> the north and eastern shores are rocky and hilly. South and western shores are flatter and grassier. Um, and then the actual lake. Describe the actual lake. Um, the lake itself tastes the rich soil. We're gonna eat a bunch of mud pancakes tonight. <laughs> God, I'm so glad I've never eaten mud. <laughs> Feet and grass. Not eating mud though, and I think that's a good decision on my part. Because dirt just doesn't sound like doesn't sound appetizing unless it's like gold plated. We're gonna put a bunch of gold leaf in the dust, in the dirt, and then maybe I'll eat it. Uh, the lake itself is... Um... No one knows just how far down it goes. Mix it with chocolate. Chocolate fix everything. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're gonna take a big bowl of chocolate icing and we're gonna put dirt in it and it will taste fine. It'll be good tasting dirt. It'll just be bad tasting chocolate. So you have to, you have to, you have to flip it. It has to be, it's good, it's chocolate tasting dirt, not dirt tasting chocolate. It's a mindset thing. If you mix a bad thing and a good thing, just think of it as a better bad thing, not a worse good thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! No! Please don't feed me a mud pie. Don't need it. <laughs> now far down it goes. Uh, at of the lake is believed to be. of the... I'm just gonna copy it. I don't want to have to turn on the German keyboard. We're just gonna copy its name. We're just gonna copy her name. I'm not typing it. I'm also not going to say... Okay. Dean... No. Not saying it out loud. <laughs> My two minor rivers on... The eastern... is it east or north? East. <laughs> it's eastern... Sorry. This is gonna be very brief. <laughs> Geography is hard, I don't do it often. Yeah, so largely... Much of the lakes are made up of fertile floodplains upon which residents depend for most of their food. <coughs> While the north and eastern shores are rocky and hilly, the south and western shores are flatter and grassier. The lake itself is quite deep, though no one knows just how far down it goes. At the bottom of the lake is believed to be a large cave, which is the home of the Dinos that. Yep. Uh, the lake is fed by two minor rivers on its eastern side. I mean, that's basically it. That's its geography. Big lake, eastern mountains, inner valley, floodplains, rock hilly, grassy, and rivers are involved. And big ol' caves. It's great. It's all you need. <laughs> the main thing is, I don't have to write... When it comes to summer camp, I don't actually have to write the bits that I'm bad at. Most of the time. Um, and 
corner. That's gonna be the bit. So aside from aside from the the dragon that's in the in the lake, <laughs> the other flora and fauna is everything else. God. You know, but you would have to wonder how they keep the fish population up if the dragon's eating it. But maybe the dragon doesn't eat fish, or it specifically doesn't eat all the fish. Well, I hope so, because oh boy, recipe for disaster. Oh no, so um, I haven't published an article about uh, Dinelle's Dachery because um, I haven't written the article about them yet. They, they are they they do have an article, but nothing is written there yet. As I recall, I can check. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a one-line description of this per this dragon is thing. Uh, it is the patron dragon of the river and the lake. That's all I've written so far. <laughs> I wrote that at the time, which was when when did this happen? Uh, middle of World Ember. Yeah, middle of World Ember was when it was like, yeah, I got a, I got a, I have a dragon. Dragons there. But maybe I'll get a chance to write about them for summer camp. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, oh, Toothless is great. Hell yeah. So, Dinner's literally probably does eat some, some fish, just not all of them. And <laughs> Dragon eats all the mud pies. For the decade that they're underwater, they're just eating mud pies and then they come up and like, please feed me actual food, humans. Yeah. <laughs> Behind the scenes content. I mean, there's technically more information about them in the dragon article because they're a dragon. So there is there is information about them around. Hold on, let me pull that one up. Maybe I should have just used the view. I have all these shortcuts that let me see things. So they they are written about in. They have a tiny paragraph in the dragon article. Explaining that they um, that she is a dragon who is like the patron of the lake because dragons like Help to form the world like craft all the mountains and the rivers and such She's the patron of that specific lake and the big river that attaches to it So she lives under there because that's just she made it she made her home and she will live in it It just so happens that a shit ton of people live around her house In a way Yeah Filter, ooh. Ooh, yeah. Filtering in small stations of one up from around the mud. They just breathe in and out every now and then. Yeah, that's actually a good way to do it. Because the dragons are pretty physically diverse. I've only drawn like two of them. So they, they can be quite diverse looking. So making it sort of like a, I might say like a whale, almost. If that makes sense. As a way to sort of sustain herself until she comes up above the the lake to receive offerings from the mortals. That will be described <laughs> at some point. If I get to write about her for summer camp, I will describe all of these things. I just really hope there's a prompt that lets me talk about her. And maybe I'll have to change her name so that I can actually say it out loud. <laughs> I see all the umlauts and I'm like, I know in my head what those sound like, I just can't say them out loud. German, fake German's difficult. Real German's hard. Fake German's even harder. It's not German. It's fine. Okay, so flora and fauna. So there would be crustaceans, freshwater fish. Uh, around the lake could be anything from like goats. Probably not cows. We're too high up for cows. Well, actually, well, you we probably could have cows. We'd have sheep. Sheep are there. Yeah, you know, I'll make it, make the list. I'll make this better. Stations, fishies, uh, goats. I guess you don't need sheep if you have goats. We have goat wool, but I guess we'll have sheep as well. Sheep, ah, uh, piggies, piggy, 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 piggies, piggos. We little piggies going to town. We'll have some piggies. Um, what else? Well, dragons. Aside from this one, there are other dragons, just not in the lake itself. And chicken. 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 Chickens. Many chickens. Many chickens. I'll actually write that as chicken so I don't get confused. Um, that's like that. That's pretty basic. Sort of like... 
Hmm. Yeah, they probably would be deer. Which, I feel like I need to specify somewhere that there are forests. Somewhere in here needs to describe that there are forests. Flatter and more forested. Let's say more forested. Many trees. Fun trees. So yes, like deer. And that's probably be a decent stock for like the fauna. And then the flora. Yeah, yeah. You Google a relocation and you steal all of its things. Which is, you know, it basically works. That's basically how it goes. We'd be like, um... Things, I don't know anything about length. <laughs> I don't know anything about geography. So I'm like, what lives where? Because if I try and think of a lake that's name I know, I'm going to pick the wrong lake. So I, th I think the specific lake that this was loose, like extremely loosely based on, was Lake Victoria because it's the one that feeds the Nile. Yeah. That's the Nile one. So this is probably a decent one to use, even though the temperature is very different because it's this... <laughs> lake Strelish is not an equatorial lake, as they would say. So it's got... I don't know. I wouldn't say hippos. Ooh, otters. Otters, otters, otters. I have to include otters. Or they will get mad at me if he, if he sees this. He'll get mad if there are no otters in this lake. Uh, <laughs> I have to include otters. Um, mongoose. What, what's the say that's gonna go? And that's the deer stuff. Cane rats. That is a big rat. God damn. That is a big rat. Look at this. Look at this chunky boy. Holy shit. That is a big rat. <laughs> God damn. Wow. Damn. <laughs> and a giant order shrews. Yeah, it's cute. It's a pest. It's cute. <laughs> it is a cute pest. Unlike, like, cane toads, which is just ugly. It's a cute pest. Also, crocodiles, turtles. <gasps> Actually, include turtles. I might not list all of these, but I want to write them down just for my own reference. They've got many fish. And most of them became extinct. Oops. We have a couple of crabs. Some snails. Some mosques. And then there are fauna part. There are a bit about plants. Where are the plants? Hyacinths. Mmm. Ah, yes. Big, big boys. Big growing boys. Mmm. I feel like I need... If I want the flora part, I feel like I probably need to pick something that's next to it. <laughs> but that's effort. Um, let's just pick one of the countries and go for it. Tell me your geography. Tell me. Let me believe it's where you're at. Now, is it quiet? Eh, I probably won't be able to use like the flora part just because it's a different environment. So, just all there's a lot of big old trees. Uh, probably the not the highest in specifically, but like probably some kind of plant that grows on top of the water or just like chokes up. The lakeside seems like a sensible, well, not sensible thing, but like an important thing to include is like a little element of things are happening. The environment changes. Depending on when you row on through, you might get stuck. Um, so like a lake top plant. Um, hmm. This is not my strong suit. <laughs> Describing things are hard, and thinking of them is harder. My goop. Ooh, yeah, lily pads! Lily pads, I love lily pads. We're definitely gonna include some lily pads. I think they're very cute. And probably annoying people who have to actually go along them. Hmm. Many birds. Oh yeah, the agricultural stuff. Of course. 
the crops. I forgot about the crops. So I guess... <sighs> what did they mostly cultivate alongside the thing? Okay. Uh... What is cultivated in floodplains? What do they put there? I suppose it doesn't necessarily matter, but I guess because it's a floodplain, I feel like it is important to know what they cultivate. They, they people tend to do there. Floodplain cropping. Oh wow. <laughs> you can use the lot. Of course you can. You can you can walk on the lily pads, walk on water. It's fine. There is nothing wrong with it. Why are these useless? <laughs> These are not useful things that I'm seeing. My channel of the river. And then the flood fringe. What do you grow in the thing? People, what do you grow? What do you grow on the plane? People, please. <laughs> grain and cattle. <laughs> okay, so we grow grain. Okay, grain. Grains. When in doubt, it's wheat. We can get some bread. We have plenty of bread. Everywhere we'll have bread, somehow, except for the north because it's cold. Can't grow, can't grow wheat there, but here can have wheat. Like Strelish has all the wheat you need, all the bread. But I get that bread. <laughs> wheat, uh, and definitely other things. Like, I feel like you probably, yeah, yeah. Rice does grow in flooded fields. I was about to think rice is good. Good stable crop. Uh, that can basically function for the minute. When in doubt, I can always add more things to it. <laughs> I can always come back and edit it. Like if, like if, if, um, because like Demi and Janet commented on everyone's articles in the first week, but didn't comment second week because everyone did basically the same sort of thing. So, like, if people end up like commenting on, like, hey, what about this and this? Then I'm like, ah, sweet. I can come back and add that in later. <laughs> or if I, you know, do some research when I'm not on the stream meant to be writing something, I can come back and be like, ah, yes. I can add more plants. More plants. More. So. And I'm going to start with the. Eh. Like a hair. Uh, <laughs> hair everywhere. Disgusting. So I don't want to start the sentence with the, because I always start the sentences with the. <laughs> Every sentence starts with the. Um. Ooh. <laughs> I think I noticed she was streaming. I was off at another island eating sushi. <laughs> hey, Delian. Hope you enjoyed eating. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed eating sushi. It took me a minute to realize that yeah, you were actually serious. I was sitting there going. Is this a reference to something that I don't understand? Video games? I'm like, no, no, no. You're just on another island eating sushi. <laughs> Which I respect. <laughs> it sounds like a lot of fun. You get to join in on confused... Confused world building. Attempting to narrow in the scope by describing a single lake. Which is big. And I have difficulty because geography is hard and I'm not good at it. <laughs> I barely know the geography of what's outside of my house, let alone fantasy world. <laughs> the other island has all the nice food places. That sucks. <laughs> like, yeah, I want to eat good food. I gotta leave. Ooh, barley. Ooh. Yeah, I took barley in there as well. We'll add that to the list of the things. <laughs> and then when in doubt, I can always come back. And they can import stuff. It's fine. That's what the river's for. The river is for import. So it's fine. And like berries and sh uh, berries and stuff. Of course. The berries. <laughs> You're just on the wicket. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's the stuff. 
That's where I would get, would have gone next and be like, time to Google ancient Egypt specifically and be like, how do you floodplain? How do you go? What do you mean? How floodplain be? Um, so. Let's, oh, hold on. <laughs> she needs to watch her do cool things. Well, that just moved to the capital of mainland, I think. Yeah. Mash together. Um. Yes. Yes, it is post Colum. I think the time, the, the equivalent, roughly, was like 1800s, was where I was, I'd ended up settling on, was like the equi like the timeline I'm taking inspiration from is 1800s, because it's like just before the second industrial revolution, like the Victorian one, uh, well I guess it's like during that one, that sort of area, so we definitely are post-Columbian sort of, there's no equivalent to post-Columbian, well I guess it kind of is, but it's very, very different. <laughs> We're like, tomatoes exist. <laughs> yes, we have tomatoes. We have all the tomatoes. We have all the tomatoes, all the apples. All, we have all the exotic fruits, I guess. <laughs> they exist. They're around. Yeah. Yes, they didn't exist in, in feudal Europe. You're correct. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just going to add all of it. I'm not going to even write about most of it. <laughs> I don't want to just have a list be the, the floor and form is like just a list. There needs to be words that connect the list. And at some point, I'm just going to have to cut bits out because I'm like, I can't connect you without just saying and, and, and this. <laughs> God. Food. I'm being reminded that food exists. Now I'm hungry. This sucks. Now I want to eat food. The only food that's like, there's no food in this room. There is no food. The closest available food is a bunch of really buttery biscuits. So it's just like, oh, well, cookies. A bunch of really buttery cookies. It's like, wow, these kind of suck. <laughs> um, the, uh. What if I just say that the biodiversity is extremely high? <laughs> It would begin with the. It all begins with the. Fuck it. Biodiversity of the lake is quite high. Uh, the lake itself is home to beans. Beans. I forgot about beans. Because I don't eat beans. <laughs> All those nasty cookies from the bad cookies lodge. Yes, they are. Okay, but to clarify, so they're, they're, they're chalk chip cookies, but we didn't measure it good. And by we, I mean my mom did not measure it good. And they are very buttery chalk chip cookies. And that's just disappointing. Like they're, 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 they taste nice. They just look disgusting. Because when you put too much butter in them, they get like... They look greasy, almost, when you put too much butter in them. And then you don't cook them for long enough, so they're a bit soft and a bit wet, and just like... It just looks weird. They taste alright, though. But in order to get them, I have to go through two entire doors. So I'm not gonna go get cookies. After stream, I'm gonna get cookies. But not right now. No cookies for stream. Cookies is treat for finish article. So once the article is finished, I can eat cookies. We'll set that as my goal, is that once I finish this article, I can eat cookies. <laughs> like, no, no, more like these disappointing. Disappointing is a good word for them. <laughs> Just disappointing cookie. <laughs> like, these could have been so good, and yet, buttery, undercooked cookies. Disappointing. I'm going to assume these people have the ingredients to make cookies somewhere in here. <laughs> like, Flour. How does flour do? They probably have flour. <laughs> they can make cookies. And that's the important part. So the lake itself is home to many varieties of fish. Dip. Fish with an F. To many varieties of fish. The placid. 
Don't want to have to name. I don't want to have to name fish. I can just dr I can just name drop like piranha <laughs> for later. Goat butter and wheat barley flour cookies. Yeah, hell yeah. Goat butter and barley flour cookies. I don't know how that would taste, but I'm assuming they're okay with it. It's basically a cookie. It's fun, and I'm sure somewhere has like, you know, like other butter. <laughs> they have their their uh, cow churned butter elsewhere. There's just no cows here. This is not the environment for cows. The cows are like down river, significantly down river, and that's a bit out of the scope of this particular article and of my summer camp scope of world building. No cows, only goats. Getting from the placid. Getting from. Yeah, it's spicy. Less sweet. Yeah, it's just kind of bready. Nothing wrong with kind of bready. I'm down for bready. This is not a problem. They don't have spices. <laughs> I've realized I don't really have spices, so I'm going to have to add spices somewhere else. Somewhere has spices. I know exactly what place has spices. It's all good. It's not here, though. You can't hear the rest. Like piranhas. Yeah, garlic soup common, they probably grew that. Yeah, they probably did grow garlic. Probably. That's what the onion and the garlic is for. The onion and garlic is for flavoring, and then for spices, they have to go down the river, around the thing, and then they gotta go find the spices on the other, other spot. They might have spice. Maybe. I haven't figured that out. This is not... Geography is not my thing. <laughs> I don't think about the trade. Except for the silk trade, which there is much silk. Um, not too many varieties. Fish range from the plus and basalt to canvas, such as, such as, such as, piranhas. There are so many species of crustacean. Including the rare Strelish crab. A delicacy. There you go. Food. Food exists. And uh, then... <laughs> you did your daily hundred words of your module. Back to Dwarf Fortress. I managed to start a Dwarf Fortress, but I don't get it, but it's fine. I'm, I'm figuring it out. I figured out how to control it. Crucially, I figured out how to actually physically play the game. It is then a matter of figuring out how the game functions. To actually continue any further than that. Like, I've made my... I've made my trash pile, and that's all I need. The trash pile exists. And I think is empty. I hope it's empty. I hope there's no trash in the trash pile. I am unclear. Uh, the most trash clubs. I guess I'm gonna a deck of Oh. Around the lake. With many. Any, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Domesticated. As pigs, pigs and goats. Brought, brought there from the south. We're gonna say they migrated north. Pigs are from the south, and they have come up the mountain. And now it's pig time. Oh, I need to write the otters in here somewhere. <laughs> the otters must be mentioned. Um, 
Can't use there are also. I can't just keep saying there are also. Um, Holodan turtles can also be found at the lakeside. Oh dear. Be found further inland. Yeah. Dragons. Where do I mention dragons? Aside from the dragon, the other dragons mostly live in the mountains, I think. So I'd, I'd just say, like, dragon of the lake. A small population of minor dragons live in the mountains to the east. Oh, hey, I said sizable. A sizable population of minor dragons live to the mountains, in the mountains to the east. Dragons. Hey, love dragons. Okay, so that's the animal portion. And I've mentioned otters. I didn't mention chickens specifically, but it's fine. I will probably remember the chickens. Because at some point I'll just mention chicken. I'll be like, oh, well, chickens exist now. It's fine. And then, so. Hmm. Ye Need a word to start a sentence it doesn't start with the. That's the hardest part about writing, like, the informative, like, geography parts, is that you end up, like, it feels like every sentence should just be the, 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 the. I can't say are mostly. Stop saying are mostly. Um. Or usually. No, no. I don't know anything about trees. <laughs> I do not know much about trees. Uh, I said the south and western shores are flatter and more forested. Hmm. Trees into plants, leaf hats, meat, ice, barley, common plants, common crops cultivated in the floodplains include wheat, rice, barley, and corn. Four is probably a good limit for a coma list. Wheat, rice, barley, and corn. Seems reasonable. Yes, it, it doesn't include the onions and garlic, but that's fine. I want to just overload. I'm like, how much am I going to check this? Probably not as much as I should. Because unless there's another prompt about recipes again, I'm going to forget all of this. Uh, <laughs> which I'm kind of hoping there's not, because that prompt was not super fun last year. Because food is difficult and just makes me hungry. And then I stop making, I stop writing the article to go eat food. And then I come back, start running again, and then I get hungry and go eat more food. And while food is good, I gotta do more things in my day than just eat food. I do like food though, so. Yeah, yeah. Troughs and valleys. Or peaks and valleys, even. Um. I is and did Bye. One of my daughters wrote a thing on how to write better biographies. The prose is not very good. <laughs> oh no, poor dwarf. He's he's trying his. They're trying their best. That dwarf is trying their darn best. You know, encourage their creative pursuits. Ah, <laughs> oh, and Can be found in the uh, uh -huh. 
all the mini forests around the lake. such as beans, wild berries and small pots of beans, maybe, well, hmm, ah, ah, oh god, all the notes, of which most of them do not matter, uh, not anymore. Uh, wild berries can be found among the trees in many forests around the lake. <laughs> wildlife, not wildlife. Frequently, yeah. harvest them. Yay! We've mentioned the elf thing. <laughs> the elf thing has now been established in the article. Congratulations. <laughs> um, it could be a decent place to stop for the minute. I'm gonna save. The article. Always remember to save your work. I have now saved my work. And that has an entire extra big chunk about many fish, some crabs, some mammals, and a couple of crops. That one word's gonna bother me. I'm, I'm bothered that that single word is floating there. God damn it. <laughs> gonna have to fix that. <laughs> I hate when it does that. It's so, so frustrating to look at. Um, let's add more. So we're looking for things. So, more berries, that means barley and corn. Hmm. Ah, oh, lily pads, of course. The lily pads. I forgot about the lily pads. Because of the lake and on its surface can be found any another of docks and ports. Maybe now it will not be like that. Maybe now. It will have words. Yay! That's way better. Adding a single sentence made that just look visually better. Because when there's the one word floating, it is uh, the worst. Oh, there was a dev update. So I got <laughs> I've been distracted. Oh, a new community homepage. Neat. I will have to have a look at that later. After the stream is done, we can have a look at the new community page that Dimmy has made. But for now, the article continues. So this is basically like the the actual geographic core, but of course there is more to this specific part of the setting than the literal physical lake itself. Like, for instance, the six countries <laughs> that are on its banks and that exist. So, I probably should mention them at some point, because I feel like that could be important, <laughs> that they exist. Um, hmm. And I do want to mention that like side and stilt spot, but I don't know where that would go, specifically. But we'll figure that out uh, at some point. That or I might just go in my notes and I'll mention it, because I'm positive that 
one of the prompts will be write about a city and I'll be like I've got it stilts have you heard of stilts <laughs> everything is on stilts lakeside so I will it will come up at some point even if it's not specifically in this article is the main thrust of that god what a map so we're basically looking at a bunch of names that I can't say out loud because anyone who knows what an umlaut makes a letter sound like will be upset with me even the stilts are on stilts. They like continue. Sort of like when you have those adjustable legs on like a tripod, it just keeps going out. There's just so many stilts. Hydraulic stilts. <laughs> I go below my house when the floods are coming and I just pull a crank a bunch of times and eventually my house is higher up above the ground. Because hydraulic stilts exist. God, what a... They don't have those, but wow, can you imagine? I'm sure something has that kind of thing where you basically can raise and lower an entire building. But the idea of a pre like super industrial magic setting trying to do that sounds like a recipe for a lot of broken houses. It would be, it would be amazing though. You're exactly right. It would be very cool to just, you know, press a button and your house just goes Vroom. Hey Tillers, hello. Oh, take care of the beep. Oh, thank you for following. Yay! <laughs> Welcome to the stream. And we continue to write about lakes. Apparently, it's a lake time. <laughs> no, day. Our, our specific quack is... <laughs> God, if, if I get emotes for twits, I feel like it needs to be a dabbing duck. I feel like that, but then it's a, that's an in-joke, so maybe it shouldn't be a dabbing duck. <laughs> that's for later, though. I'm not even close to a, a whatever the first stage of Twitch is. <laughs> I don't know how it works. I don't understand the entire platform that I'm using. Oh, hell yeah. I can't dab, is the thing. I'm not good at dabbing. <laughs> okay, so I have your permission to make it a dabbing duck emote. If when I get the the single emote slot that like affiliate gets or whatever. I'm allowed to do dabbing duck. Excellent. There will be a stream for drawing a dabbing duck emote at some point, presumably after July, because July is world building time. <laughs> anyway, world building, back on topic. World building is supposed to be happening. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it is very just like right about whatever. Ducks are great. They're loud, aggressive bastards, but they're pretty as hell. They're very cool. I, I need to go for a long walk so I can go see the ducks at the uh, local pond again. <laughs> World building. The people have ducks. Excellent. Everybody has ducks. Dabby duck sounds like a weird cut. Yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> Goddamn. We, we can assume that the, the many birds herein described include ducks. We can just assume it includes ducks. <laughs> ducks are present. <laughs> history. I don't want to be too extensive with the history, even though I probably could be. Mm, actually, maybe I shouldn't... I might skip the history, just because, wow, there's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot happening, and a lot of bits I haven't figured out yet. And I feel like that's going to be a task for Summer Camp to figure out exactly when these countries split and why. Like, what's the elf country doing there? Unclear. I don't know what they're doing. They got independence from somebody. I know who. For why? Unclear. Skip history. <laughs> Skip history. Like, I normally wouldn't. Normally I would have written the history before all the geography stuff, but there's, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of history. But then my bit is I don't know where to bring in the, the, the countries bit. Because these will be the places I'm actually talking about. These places with unpronounceable names. So... 
maybe I'll give the most uh, abridged history possible, which is that people have lived here for a long time. Many people live here. Form countries. Countries fight. Countries split. Countries war. Present. <laughs> it present now. State currently exists. So... Um... Oh, I guess I need to mention, this would be where I'd mention, uh, the dragon, specifically. Um, uh, Lake Strelish was formed by the, and I'm going to link them, oop, if I can spell their name correctly. Please let me spell their name correctly. By the, the dragon. A. Formed it. Yeah. A major dragon. There's, oh. Do I need to describe the whole dragon thing? I guess I should describe the whole dragon thing. Pass by the divinities. The magic people who do the thing. Uh. With creating that part of the world. Um, mm. When humans were made, many of them chose to live along the shores of the lake and of its I've forgotten the word for the river that comes off the word. Hold on. I know how to find it. I know exactly how to find it. I know exactly where to find the word I'm looking for. Outflows. There you go. That's the one I'm looking for. Words are hard. When humans are made, many of them try to live on the shores, like, and it's outflows. Uh, this region was one of the few not conquered by the... What's that? I love that you have an emote for that. I love that you use it. Somebody's gone. Yep, I know, I know. I have a perfect emote idea. Words are hard. An immortal phrase. <laughs> During the era of conquest, so, Tobin's emote is perfect. It really is. That is a perfect emote. <laughs> it's just, you know, sometimes you don't need to make sure you're complicated. It is. That is perfect. Uh, it's not without strife. The ooh, time frames. I'm trying to remember how the timeline goes. I've forgotten how the timeline goes. Okay. This is why I write articles, so that then I can go back and reference them and figure out how the timeline goes. Because now I can go, that's here. And then this is the next spot that I was going to talk about. But I guess there is this bit too. Which arguably is more important. <laughs> I've opened the article. <laughs> Oops. I already have that article open. I don't need that again. Oh, that's strife. Oh, that is, that is after it though. Yeah, so the, the Empire already collapsed by then. Okay. Um... Hmm. So the lake floods semi regularly experience catastrophic flooding during the Aptly named Era of Flood. It is Flood, right? Era of Flood. Oh, 
not long after. Equally not, it wasn't devastating, it's just catastrophic. Which I guess catastrophic is devastating, so maybe that isn't really the word I wanted. But it was pretty bad, so, you know, equally devastating. Era of drought. Fill in the blanks. I'm sure people can figure it. <laughs> people will figure out that the era of flood, flooding happened. Era of drought. Something happened. <laughs> okay, um... As a lifeline for for central Lurasin uh, uh, has seen many countries as and full as they try to dominate try to control of the lake. We might just immediately skip like 600 years of history and just go, hey, at the moment, six countries exist. And then maybe it'll then jump back a little bit and explain that, hey, two of these used to be, actually no, two of these were once one country. Another two were also previously one country, um, except that they still, war is complicated. <laughs> They're having a time. Those two are having a time. These other two are independent countries. These two are independent, but they're having problems. And then these other two are just chilling out. Like, why are y'all weird? Why can't you just chill? <laughs> and not go to war with yourselves all the time. At present. In, oh, what's the current year of the world? I forgot the current year of the world. I think it's 38. Is it 38 or 39? Oh, shit. How does math? <laughs> 38? Sure. I don't know. At the present, uh, there are six countries which call the lake shore home. And then we have a shit ton of links to add. Oh god, I'm in the wrong keyboard again. Um, it, actually, hold on. I'm gonna go in order. There's Dufons, uh, Ibsa, Dufons, uh, Dats, Datsol, uh, Xepaton, uh, I think it's Vazahad, Vazahdal, and now. No, it, no, Chi. Oh no, is it Noah? Oh no, what is it called? It's no. Why didn't it go? Oh no, it doesn't do an at link if you have a a posh, if you have a hyphen in it. Well, that sucks. Okay, so then Chi. There we go. No, Chi heed. Boom. Make it rise and fall. B2. Eh. German keyboards. Two fonts. Trees. We're formerly. Former lake. Lay one. But split. Probably one. But split. Bit over two hundred year years ago, and are still bitter enemies. To say for Thorn, uh, recently became independent from. I'm going to copy that name. A long campaign of uh, for recognition by the 
local elven population. And then the other two were chilling out, because I don't know what the hell their deals are. I don't know what they're doing. It's not my problem. It is my problem, but not right now. That is the shortest history portion I have ever written in my life. And the best part is that if people, anybody else that wasn't me was reading this article, um, I think only two of these links actually work. The Divinities link works, and then these two countries work. And then every other one is just like, I don't know. Yeah, like these two work. <laughs> Nothing works. Nothing ever works. But I think one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some formatting. Because I like to format things. I'm gonna move these to my full width footer. Because then it will look slightly better. Because now, poof, big boy. So now it's not just a bunch of small lines. I, I'll need to add something to the sidebar. I think this might be where I'd put the dragon stuff. Just explain really quick, you know, what is Dino's deal? What are they doing? Why are they here? It'd be like that. Once I'm adding a container. For reasons. We're adding fancy Grandmaster features. Excellent. Okay. We're now able to write a bit about a character whose name I cannot pronounce. And thus, he's going to call Divine Water Dragon. Which is literally what their name means. <laughs> like, that's literally what it means. Like, it's such a long looking name and it just means Divine Water Dragon. <laughs> Technically, that's not a- that's a shortened form of the word water. It's technically zder, or zder, zder. But then I shortened it because R's are difficult and I can't say them half the time. So I cut that bit out. And I said, if I'm water dragon, um... I didn't go into too much detail, did I? I did not. Or, ooh. Yeah. I need to copy their name. I need to copy their name. Copy their name. Copy their name. I'm not pulling off the German keyboard to write their name again. Uh. Deepest, deepest, deepest part of Lake Strelish. Despite this, um, yeah, subsisting primarily on a diet of crustaceans and bottom feeding fish. However, they come to the surface of the lake. Once every ten years. For air. Bringing with them the the flood season. Which Actually, no, like, I just know how about just they come to the service of the lake once every 10 years for air, bringing with them the flood season, which many, uh, coast, coastal? No, just lakeside. Lakeside towns and cities and years preparing for. Once the worst of oh wait sorry she used she has she uses she her <laughs> she does not use them i keep forgetting uh which is awful of me bringing with she bringing with her <laughs> the flood season <laughs> god sometimes pronouns are difficult even when i like i know how these work i sometimes i just don't i forget uh once the worst of the waves 
have subsided the lake side. Well, we'll sail out to greet her with offerings of food and treasure. These will be cast haphazardly into the into the water. And which to greet at she returns to her lair. Yay! I'm trying to find if I have a picture. Oh wow, I don't have that. Uh, dragon. What are my dragon pictures? Uh, that dragon picture isn't gonna work. That's the wrong dragon. Because she's not a mountain. Unlike the other two. Two. There are two of them. She is a what? I might need to draw her at some point. Because I do not have a water dragon. As such. Uh, okay. Well, that blows. Let's just put in... Put in that one for the minute. Just put in one of them. It'll do. Once it loads, boom! Now there's an entire sidebar. That... Possibly needs to be split a little bit. Uh, maybe I'll put the break after once. What is for? Eh, wrong bits. There we go. Put the break there. That might read slightly better. Because then there's actually like a, a divide. There you go. Yeah. Yay. That bit looks lonely. Do I, do I have anything else to put in the top bit? There's no... Well, she arguably is the ruler. Arguably, that's her. If we want to, to... To split hairs on that, she is arguably the owner of the lake that she lives in. Um, parent location would be the continent. I think that might be all the bits that I can add from, like, the... Because I don't have any alternate names planned for that one. But I could just go like, you know, like, like the Divine Lake. Seems like a reasonable alternate name for them to have for it. And then, can refresh that. And now it's a little bit more filled out. And, yay! That's an article. That's a basically finished article. And that's more geography and flora fauna stuff than I've written in years. All the nations loudly. <laughs> Who owns the lake? Dragon just goes. <clears throat> <laughs> They're like, ah, yes. No, we went. We said nothing. <laughs> They're all like, we should own the lake. No, I should own the lake. I should be big in charge. She's like, excuse me. Pesky mortals. Fuck off. <laughs> you know, he's just there, like, yeah. You wanna, you wanna try and own the lake? Good luck. I guess that's part of that. And so, yeah, that is a, I think that's a completed article. Like, obviously there's some bits I, I probably sh will go back and add some more into this history area. Cause, uh, from the era of drought to now, um, that is, uh, a lot of time. There were, a, there was a, some big time skips and it misses like the central war, which was a very foundational thing that happened and then for the capitals which i've listed uh most of them don't have names because i i named these countries three hours ago and i didn't get around to naming uh anything else yet <laughs> hell yeah successful first draft uh cute of you to think i draft anything cute of you to think that my articles aren't published as first drafts i appreciate it <laughs> and so some of them do have names because I already knew about them. So Sahayoz, 
and uh, Skrezosh have names, and so does uh, Pifa Fortin. And then the rest are just like, well, that one has a name too. So Nashla. And then these are just capital, capital, capital. And Exclave be doing the thing. So I will have to go in and edit it so it doesn't just say that. <laughs> but that will require me to stare at a, a lot of, there's a lot going on in, in the, th there's a lot. There are like eight languages. <laughs> there's a lot going on. I don't want to think about what's down there anymore. <laughs> Language is hard. But yeah, I think that is a, a functional article, which I will now publish so that it is visible for people to see, which means I can share it when I get the, the article link. I can share the article. Which means you can see all the bolded bits that you've been seeing as orange links and which are not written. Because uh, most of these links don't go anywhere yet. <laughs> like, even the continent doesn't go anywhere yet because I haven't finished the article. <laughs> which is always awkward. <laughs> considering that's a very important article that I really should finish at some point. But it's very big. There's a lot going on in there, so I've been putting it off. <laughs> dead links, oh no. So many of them are dead links. Some of them will probably won't be filled for a while. <laughs> like, this empire, I'm not- oh shit. Don't go in there. Don't go in there! <laughs> that article's not gonna get written for a while. Because <laughs> it's uh, very old, so I don't care about it as much. But yeah, that's an article. That's a homework challenge complete such that it is like obviously like you know it's never finished there's always work to be done anyone who actually takes an article out of the work in progress phase is lying everything will always remain a work in progress so things can be edited but you know for the minute this is a finito article which is good because i probably would not have written this article had i not uh, been, you know, strongly encouraged to pick a spot to write about for this. I've only written about one city in the surrounding area. If all else is empty yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'd be like that. The only reason I know anything about, like, the politics of this world is that I wrote a bunch of, like, really, like, just scattershot articles in World Ember. Because this is an old setting now. It's a setting that exists. So, you know. That's the only reason I have any of that, which is nice. Because I went, like, I was like, I'm going to have a new continent. I drew a map, and then I drew a bunch of country borders, and then I went, I didn't think about any of these. And then now I'm still dealing with the consequences of that a year later. But yeah, that, <laughs> that one region is pretty different now. Exactly, yeah. One region in the surrounding area because of the map challenge, yeah. Oh, I didn't do the map challenge. I still filled them about not doing that. I was prepared to do it too, but I just couldn't draw a good map for the area I wanted to do. And I didn't have a language to name the place. <laughs> it's always the languages. But now I do have that language. So that's neat. But it's in the wrong area now, so. Oh well. That's an article I'll get back to at some point. That's always the good part I like about the challenges, is that it encourages you to look at at pieces of the world and build them out in a nice way and sort of get some details in which is good so yeah that is a finished article which yeah and i'm sorry i got added to that one city also but the here's challenge yeah hell yeah tying it all together that's the good stuff everything is connected which is what this homework challenge is trying to encourage us to do <laughs> By limiting the scope, things can be connected easier, I think is the reasoning. Um, and it definitely makes sense. So it, it, it's, it's good that now I have this article about like Strelish written. And so now I can focus on that for summer camp and, you know, write about a bunch of the countries that are around it and all their shenanigans. For they have many. They have many shenanigans. <laughs> but yeah, so now that it's... Uh, Eight minutes past midnight, where I am. That is two hours of streaming done. And a finished article. 
So that is a uh, complete stream, I reckon. I reckon that's basically finished, hit the goals that I set out for today, which was to finish the thing. And if I finish the stream, I get to go eat cookies. So I definitely want to go eat cookies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I reckon, I reckon, Tillers. Pick the, the next area and city to focus on for summer camp. That's a, way, that's a good way to do it. So, um, the plan for next stream... So I'm going to be streaming again on Saturday. Which, I've immediately forgotten what date that is, but it doesn't really matter. It's in the thing below. Uh, <laughs> I'm planning to next stream on Saturday, same time, so from 10 until midnight. So, till now. And I'm still not totally sure what I'm going to do, but I think I'm going to end up doing CSS stuff because I'm working on a new theme for the world that I was literally just writing in. Yes, 27th. Exactly. I'm going to be streaming on the 27th at the same time. Pearl will be doing CSS stuff because um, on last week's Thursday, like when I streamed on Thursday last week, secondhand was like, is your CSS going to be based around like paper cutouts? And I went, holy shit, you're a genius. You absolute genius. So now I'm making a third, like another CSS theme for this world and hopefully that will look nice. So I'll be working on that on Saturday, all things going well. Or I'll end up doing world building and stuff. I don't know. But something will happen. Something will occur on Saturday at the same time as it did today. <laughs> Which was Tuesday. It's now Wednesday, but it was Tuesday, I promise. <laughs> so... Uh, thank you, everybody, for showing up and chatting and giving me ideas and discussions to have uh, while writing this uh, article for the summer camp homework. Yes, supply stream content. Whatever ends up happening. If the CSS ends up being boring, I'll do something else. <laughs> That's how it usually goes. But yeah, so thank you all uh, very much for showing up and humming around and chatting and discussing the world of buildings such that it is, and uh, I hope that I will be able to see uh, many of you, I'll see most of you around Discord or, you know, chatting to you directly. I hope to see you all uh, in the future streams, and I hope that you all, if you're doing summer camp, have a lot of fun, and build all the worlds. That's the important part. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Goodbye.